Welcome back to part three of our visit to Lindor's Abbey Distillery. If you missed part one and two, I'll link them above. Go watch them first and come back. In part three, we get a tour of the warehouse. We get to try our hand at bottling in the bottling hall and we try some very tasty cask samples. So here we go into the warehouse with Murray and Elliot. Do a wee copper dog of a uh, cast strength cherry hogshead. Oh, it's about to be done, and then we have that's your uh, bag right there. Then we have something really different that's not like in our normal sort of profile for our blending together, which is a uh, X rum heated cask. Oh, um, wow! So we'll have like, we'll draw one from the bottle shortly. For and is that um, the bottling hall? This is our little baby bottling hall. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So every single bottle you see on the market was bottled. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We saw us being nosy outside and they invited us in for a wee look. And we even had to go up bottling the whiskey ourselves. Switch up. Click that switch up and that switch up. It doesn't have to be on. Oh! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> As exciting yeah, as it is. Yeah. That's all we do. <laughs> and then if you just put the switches down. The bottles get corked. Oh, the heat shrinks there. You just couldn't go home if you want. I've got it. <laughs> Then back to the dramming. First, Murray gives us a try of the Lindor's new make. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you get a wee aspect of like the, the unique character and stuff. You know, when you so is this bottled at 46? This is 63 mm -hmm. and a half. Oh no, so it's actually right Yeah, so that's our cask, cask filling strength for the unique. Hi guys, barley. 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 Lots of nice kind of like hedgerowy fruits and things in there as yeah. well. So some like wild strawberries, bit of raspberry, mm. raspberry ripple kind of note. Like, mm. Really raspberry ripple, just as you said that. Yeah. Totally lovely. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. So yeah, so this is the kind of the DNA, and then I can say you've tried the mm. core, um, you've tried the castle indoors and stuff. So yep. we'll try some things a little bit off off the beaten track a little bit for you. So first one. Watch this bumpy at night. Have you got the the big pole? Oh, the 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 the, the yeah. balance, yeah. yeah. The big pole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is the so the thing that so yeah, this sherry is going to be a distillery exclusive. Yeah. Right. So it will be for sale in the shop. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll go through the same kind of 
one you've done. So you can see the one that we've got here that's used as bottle that's in the IDC mm -hmm. uh, is, a, is a virgin oak cast. Uh, we've got some other, like a wee range of ones that are going to be kind of intermittent for distillery exclusives. And they're the old cast strength as well. They're all cast strength, yeah. so the one that you just bottled was virgin oak at 62. And this one here is... It's quite dark, isn't it? Mm. Sure. Uh, uh, sure uh, yeah. uh, 62.5, this one. Wow, okay, yeah, pretty, no, it's not much more. No. Now we are trying the sherry of, uh, cast, you can tell by Rachel's like reaction. Mm. We've had in the Castle Lindor series. Uh, being oh my god, that's so nice. And, oh. So that's it's kind of like, mm. often think that kind of Lindor's kind of real style is very uh, sort of spring summery. Mm -hmm. It's obviously takes you much more into your kind of autumn and winter kind of vibes here. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, like it's, a, it's a, a, a nice different sort of string to the bow of what oh. Lindor can be. Um, this kind of much more sort of dark spruce elements to it. So. It's got like a really herby aftertaste. Yeah. Really yeah. herby finish. Oh, I love that. Kind of like caramel, that's so good. That's yeah, your kind of thing. That's so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a basic bitch, I love a fairy doll. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good, so good. No fairy doll for you, they're okay. And how many private casts do you have then? Uh, all together, quite a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much about 95% of the stuff in here. Why? Wow. In, in this warehouse? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not overall. We caught up with distillery manager Gary, who showed us where they keep the really fancy casks. Of the Chuentes that's coming oh, out of it. Oh, wow. Mood. It's like I mean, treacle. Yeah. Oh. It smells like treacle as well. Wow. You can see it, you can see how sugary it is because it's starting yeah. to mold a little bit in the outside. Is that a Pinot cask, is it, Gary? Yeah, that's one of the bigger Pinot de Chuentes. Oh, I don't know actually got them in that sort of size. There's four of the smaller ones on that that's side, and then there's three or four of the bigger ones yeah. from Saganac. Apparently, I'm getting another three or four this year if I'm lucky. Oh, are you? It's an old family run Pinot de Charentes and the keys to the cellar are passed through the generations and that's the only way you get access to it is having these keys. Wow, uh, do you know when you're going to bottle them? It's not, we're not even open. We're not no. even open them yet. It's mm. one of these casts that I'm just, I'm totally leaving them alone. You can, yeah. you can smell it, I don't know, you can, can you all smell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sweet. You can just smell the aroma. Oh. After that. So, so if, yeah. if you ever find Gary having a bad day, he's probably down here poking the cat. <laughs> Just like smelling it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Shh, don't you not talk about that. You're, you're arming a film. <laughs> no judgment, no judgment. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Do you have any other more unusual cats? The ones at your feet. So, these are Toro Albala casks from the town of Montilla. Montilla was obviously originally the birthplace of Sherry and then mm -hmm. it got moved to Jerez and they started all of the rest thing. And Amontillado is in the style of Montilla. So these are from uh, Toro Val, one of the oldest Sherry bodegas in Spain. This one here is 1968, that one's 1973. There should be a 1922 somewhere earlier. Wow, so they're not seasoned crafts. Those no, are those are no, they're, they're proper bodega wow, crafts. Wow. Yes. How, much, how much were they, if you don't mind me asking? Um, mega bucks. <laughs> More than 3,000 and less than 4,000. Wow, mm. wow. Bugs! <laughs> Back to the drums. Yeah, that's number one. Ah. So this, right. one, this one here on the right hand side, you can see at the front, 2017 cast number one, first ever cast to be filled in the doors. So it's, Oh. Like, it's a treat that you get to see at a distillery of our reach kind of thing that you mm -hmm. don't get to it much Yay. Of the time, obviously, so. That's lovely. Funky. Mm. Very subtly beaded. Do you need a bit of smoke? Like a whisk? So this is um yeah, so this is a ex peated rum cast. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I was, oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'm not, not letting slip where things are coming from. Yeah. Yeah. We can let you work it out by giving you clues and hints and it yeah, doesn't yeah. take much. Oh, but, that, uh, that's fun. <laughs> I guess the facility game is really like that. Yeah. 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 So which order do you have? So we have a whole line up here. So I've got the original and I should put the new make first. I've got the new make and then the original. Hello. Hello. And Hello. the sherry bomb. Sherry bomb. And the uh, peachy rum oh, cask. So. Yes. 
So, I know, I know. I saw me get just kept on here. I was Stop. like, put your finger back over it. Plug the gap. So we've just been. Uh, we went to the bottling hall. That was cool. Was well, the bottling Dave hall, the bottling hall. room. Yeah. And then we got shown some awesome casks. Some yeah. rare cool casks. And apparently, there's more cask samples waiting for us upstairs. This is our legacy bar. Um, legacy really because uh, mem members are going to have all their plaques put around the bar. Oh, oh okay. So like your kind of your name will be kind of in the bar forever kind of thing. Yay. So like leaving a bit of legacy with you here. Mm. So we're trying a salt air and cask. Um, fresh, it's delicious. Our strength, really fruity. Ooh, apricots and peaches. Quite peppery. Do you find it peppery? Yeah, I think so. Might be. I'll go smell again. The pepper on the lunch. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I love a saute iron. I love a saute iron cask. Mm. That was an alky last year in the saute iron mm. cask and I had that, I can't get really quickly. And that is so like thick and syrupy. Syrupy sweet, delicious. Mm. Really, really good. And that's 2019. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. So, that was uh, delicious. Very tasty. Uh, <laughs> A nice, yeah, yeah. Sort of like light style again. We'll give you a wee try out the Chardonnay. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't know if I've tried anything in a Chardonnay. You know, that's less like, usual, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, but obviously, a sort of like much sort of drier, less sweet style mm -hmm. wine, but still with our kind of quite sweet unique. Yeah, that's like a, a bit more unique -y, but also more like melon and sweet and less tangy. Murray removes the crisps. It's time for serious tasting. It's not. Oh, it's I mean, not. It's not my favourite night well, at all. So it's um. Yeah. You don't like the Chardonnay. I, I I like it. It's fine, but it's not my. I wouldn't be a kind of like. I I wouldn't race to it. Right, okay, what's your like? What apart from obviously Lindor's? What's your like usual whiskey? Uh, I actually like some coastal malts. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big fan of like Old Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I like kind of that style. Maybe a little bit kind of the saltier style kind of thing it's there. So yeah, I think that one better. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I've not tasted it yet. I like oh, the sorry. smell. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> I like the smell equally. It's a bit. It smells sweeter to me. It's got more more depth for me. I think we do have opposite tastes usually. Yeah. So mmm, mmm. That's like sweeter actually mm. for me. And more. Well, that's like that's like all sweet and syrupy. Mm. This is like a bit like more deeper and, and woodier. Sweet to depth. Mm. Um, nice. I think I'm with the salty air. No, no, I'm, I'm with the, the, the Chardonnay. The Chardonnay, I think. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Mm. Um, so we'll go cognac. Yep. Yep. You like the cognac. Yeah. I like a cognac cask. So we have um, some really nice uh, virgin oak casks mm -hmm. from the forest of Tiron in Tiron, where it's, it's the Mother Abbey for mm -hmm. the doors. Oh, that, I love that. So that, ab that, ab that abbey's still there. Um, yeah. So Drew and Helen are actually going across the tier on a Monday cool. for a few days, uh, Monday to Thursday, I think, to to go and plant, replant trees oh, that were cool. felled for us to make oak casks. So the nice. there's don't think there's ever any ever been anybody else being allowed access to the oak trees of that forest. Really. Um, but they were, were kind of given to us to kind of tie in the link with uh -huh. Lindor's Abbey and Tiron Abbey that's still there. Mm. So it's still a, that was obviously not destroyed. So it's still, so it's still, it's still, still a practicing it. Abbey. Oh, so wow. you can still go visit as an Abbey. Huh? Um, and in the forest they gave us, uh, cut down two oak trees, uh, which we were able to make sort of European virgin oak casks for aging our whiskey. Wow, very cool. So cool. those have been really, really nice, really, yeah, nice. really That's mature, really, cool. um, mm -hmm. really mature for their age, really woody and stuff like that. But you wouldn't have them much maturing much older than four or five years old mm -hmm. because they would be, they would, I think they would be overpowered by yeah. the wood after that. Definitely, yeah. 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 Mm, that's cool. That's lovely, that's really appley. I don't like it as much as that one. I think Sauternes still my favourite, okay. I like that, but Sauternes mm. still. So this one is an example of Old Forester Hogshead. So again, this is a nice example of what bourbon cast I think can do for, for a mm. Oh, so vanilla. Mm -hmm. Mr. Webby ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, wow, so vanilla. So again, a nice, a nice, quite naked cast type, mm -hmm. like mm. very neutral style with the bourbon, but really sort of for me anyway is what showcases our spirit in a, in a really good light. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Mm. That goes on for ages. It's nice well. and fresh. It's nice mm. and it's it lingers well. It's mm. got, like it doesn't dissipate that mouth feel at mm -hmm. all. That mouth feels there from the like all the way through from the new make, and you're still getting those nice orchard fruits that dance nicely yeah. with the caramel and the, the vanilla so it's got that for me the bourbon cask mm -hmm. has got that really nice sort of apple pastry kind of feel to it totally. Tof toffee mm -hmm. apples or like apple kernel mm -hmm. bar it's got a nice sort of sugar icing bit there but it's the kind of the orchard fruits with the the toffees and stuff that are going on there is coconut. for me is yeah I love oh, absolutely yeah it's lovely coconut, really sure. juicy oh i don't know if i'm sorry yeah i like for that i'm not yeah, sure yeah so yeah this is um this was a release of just 300 bottles um, cast number 74 for anything about ever filled. So the 74 cast wow, filled. Wow, cool, cool. So one of 300 balls, 61.7. Um, again, just a nice little comparison to do oh. beside the Sauternes, just to kind of see two different expressions of dessert wine mm -hmm. style. So Mombasiac, again, being a good Mombasiac style um, can often kind of outstrip the Sauternes style. But again, it's mm. that kind of familiarity with mm. with wording kind of thing of like for regions and things yeah, like that, you know. Yeah. Bum Do, Bunnies, that's the other one they're like. Oh, the taste of that's so different. Oh. That's more green. Oh yeah. Are you a wine fan as well? I quite like wine, yeah. That's lovely. So that was a distillery exclusive. So that was a distillery exclusive. Yeah. came out uh, a few while back. Is yeah. that gone now? That one, yeah, it disappeared. Oh. Really quick. I'll let you try the virginal I'd love to try the virginal crack too. Sauterne, a Chardonnay, Cognac. Cognac. One I can't pronounce, it's not. That, that was your old Forster Hogshead. Yeah. Oh, right, that one. And then uh, this is your Mambazia. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you've got a wee dribble of virginal. the virginal. Virginal. Yeah. Love that one. Like the virginal taste. Virginal yeah. tastes like, again, very mature. Mm -hmm. It's got that kind mm -hmm. of like extra punch of. Sort of more antique style notes from the. I love that one. Uh, this is a bit younger. This isn't actually whiskey oh, yet, but mm. so oh, cool. yeah. so this is um, 2020. Oh, no. that's so like. Just the colour of the others. It's fairly. Yeah, 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 they were tried oh, off, yes. not quite whiskey for sure. Yeah. But that one. Huh? That's what that's years old. Then. So yeah, that was that was uh, Castleville 2020. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, obviously mm -hmm. not whiskey yet, but you can see the kind of direction it's going in. Mm -hmm. um, yes. They're all my favourite now. Yeah. Like, that's my favourite Yeah, but I think it's just so cool, like, you know, again, mm -hmm. trying something that's not even three years old yet. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can see the promise that's in yeah. it already. It's not, it's not, when you were talking about your shapes, it's not jaggy. Not it's at all. It's soft, right it's still so yeah. soft yeah. and silky, yeah. but you're getting that kind of nice little plume of smoke and peat mm -hmm. without it being like a total peat monster. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice little kind of delicate sort of like peat smoke mm -hmm. that's there. Uh, but even when you smell it from the bottle, especially, I think as well, like um, that's like bananas now. You know, really like that when you're getting that, when you're getting that from the bottle, you know, it, sm it smells like a peach whiskey, hundred percent. Totally, so you're yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. It's bitter. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't like if you're picking it up, you might, you wouldn't necessarily say, oh, that's a ex cask. It's got a big plume, mm -hmm. of, plume of peat, like a peated whiskey, but it's not, still. it's not intense, like. Drinking on an actual art bag or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, I think it's three, it's three ladies, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is cool as well. It's like you get to. Wally's away on his own, uh, his own uh, little. Oh! Twist there. Oh dear. Oh! Yeah, it's just, uh, we kind of just put the hand aside. I think he's done. I think he may be done. Oh yeah. no, he's still filming. Is it because he's, I think it's, it's the. This has the, gone the off. The arm, the Wally arm. That's. And at that, our camera had had enough and keeled over, and we decided we should stop tasting before we did too. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. <laughs> okay. do, do you do shapes at all? Do you think uh, it's high up or it's slow down or it's a bit jaggy? I, I, I didn't say jaggy, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you were like, it's a uh, rectangular flavour there, or uh, it's a bit tri so triangular there. It sounds like, it's like this shape. You know what I mean? You like when I see the words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't mind a straight up and down, you want a bit more, you want a bit of variation.